Okay, today let's install an old but generally reliable but painful to install AI face uh, swapping app called Group Unleash. Or for this case, it's been changed to call Root Floyd. Shout out to the creator called Connie Build for re uploading this app on codebird.com after it's been taken down from GitHub due to controversies on the nature of AI face swapping. Basically, Root Floyd is able to do face swap on videos or images, and that's pretty much it. Nothing much to say. The only thing I can add on is that face swap is still a critical tool for AI filmmaking due to the inconsistent faces that is usually used to generate from image to image, which makes it hard to create inconsistent characters for your storytelling. Hence, you can actually use face swapping tools to keep the face aligned to solve this problem. So take note that it's not just about doing face swapping for fun or for malicious purposes as some people might think. This setup will be done on my RTX 50 series uh, GPU, uh, particularly its RTX 5070 Ti and it should work for all Blackwell GPUs as well. For software requirement, other than JIT, you will need Python as well. I'm installing this on uh, my Python 3.1 3.2 that I got through Miniconda installation. You may wish to check out my installation video on how to install Miniconda before coming back to this video. Or, if you have an existing Python that is 3.1, 3.2, you can skip the Miniconda. Uh, whether it works for 3.12 or 3.10, I'm not sure, as I didn't install using those versions. You can test it out yourself. Take note that I will not be using a Conda environment for this installation, and instead will be using a Python virtual environment instead. Both are pretty much the same with the same concepts and I just follow the instructions as laid down by the developer. Before we begin the walkthrough, I would appreciate a like, comment and subscribe to help push this video to the right community who might find it useful. I will paste all the required commands in the description so you can uh, just uh, copy and paste instead of typing them out yourself. Just take note not to paste them in the wrong directory. First, go to the Cognibuilds page in Codeberg. I will leave the links in the description below as well. You can read up more on it, but most importantly, you can get the code here. Next, create a folder and name it whatever you like. I name it Root Floyd. Go into the folder on the address bar and type JIT clone and paste the code from the codebook. Once you clone the repository, change the directory with cd root floyd, create a virtual environment with your Python and activate it immediately uh, using Python M VNV VNV NN core venv slash script slash activate by putting the two n you're actually executing two commands at the same time next we will install something called uv what i heard is that this is just another kind of pip or it's supposed to be better than pip uh pasting the command pip install uv Next is a long chain of commands from here on to install everything one by one. So I'll just highlight the command before I press enter and let it do its thing. UV pip install torch, uh, torch vision and provide the link for CUDA 12.8. UV pip install nump. UVP install OpenCV dash Python dash headless. UVP install Onyx. UVP install Inside Face. If your antivirus blocks something along the installation, you can allow it as I don't see anything harmful on it yet. UVP install Elbu core UVP install this UVP install only runtime 
UV pip install Onyx Runtime Dash Silicon. For this Onyx Runtime Dash Silicon, I'm not sure why Root Floyd works without it. Probably because I'm using Python 3.13, so you can ignore this error while moving forward. UV pip install Onyx Runtime Dash GPU. UV pip install TQDM. UV pip install FTFY. UV pip install rejects. UV pip install Pi Virtual Camp. <laughs> Once you are done with all the UV installation, we will go back to pip installing for some uh, complicated stuff, which apparently needs to be force installed in order to make it work. You will paste this command pip install dash dash force dash reinstall pi dentic equals equals 2.10.6 pip install dash dash upgrade gradio equals equals 5.13.0 once you're done with that you can run python run.py to start the app but before we start i need to address an elephant in the room while running python run.py your antivirus gives might be giving you a threat secure alert saying that frpc underscore windows underscore amd64 underscore version 0.3 is quarantined because it affects the or rather because it is affected with Win64 malware-gen. I did my own research on this and apparently this is related to the Gradius interface. The developer of Gradius informed that this is not a virus and is a false positive treated by the antivirus software. The threat seems to die off with no solution to remove this false positive moving forward. So with that info, I safely ignore that uh, quarantine and use this app normally. So do take note that you will encounter this every time that you run the app as it's uh, triggered when a public link is created. If you're uncomfortable with this, then I would suggest you to stop your installation here and move on to another face swapping app as I do not have any solution for this problem. So welcome to the Gradius interface for the Root Floyd. As this is an installation video rather than a tutorial on how to use Root Floyd, I shall not go through each component and adjustments that is required for a generation. But I will try to do one generation just for demonstrative purposes. Now some of us might encounter this error, which is win error 2. The system cannot find the file specif specified and warning FFMPEG is not installed, no video processing possible. So for this case, you need to download and install FFMPEG in order to make it work. Generally, AI video generators are dependent on this to do their work. Some installations include it in the package when you install it, but this, is, uh, this setup doesn't. So you need to set it up manually. Go to this website, links in the description for ffmpeg.org slash download. Go to Windows Build from uh, giant.dev. Download ffmpeg jit foo7z. Open the zip file. Copy files inside the bin folder, which is ffmpeg, ffplay, ffprobe. and put it in the main folder here. And since this app runs on virtual environment, if you want to start the app from scratch, you need to go to the main folder address bar, type cmd, activate virtual environment and execute python run.py to make it work. 
So let's make life easier by creating a shortcut.bat file instead. At the main root Floyd folder, create a new text file, name it start. Open the text file and paste the command add echo of call venv slash script slash activate nn python run.py pause. Save the file as all files and uh, end the name with a dot bat. You may delete the text file uh, if you wish to. Then you can actually double click the uh, start.bat as per normal and it should run normally. With ffmpeg files placed at the main folder, the app should read it directly, recognize it and proceed with a generation. There's quite a few parameters that you can adjust to make a seamless face swap. So it takes some time and patience to tinker around to make it better, depending on the need. I might make another video to share some tips and tricks for a better face swap after I've done my own research. Let me know in the comments if you think that you want to see more of Root Floyd or if you think that just the installation video is enough for you to get by. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to help push this video to the right community who might find it useful. Until then, I will see you when I see you.